If you find yourself living a life that's not fulfilling, it might be time to do the work of finding yourself. We can sometimes get lost in the pursuit of happiness or another goal in life. This is natural. It is much too easy to get sidetracked and lose sight of what you want for yourself. The first step to getting yourself back on task is by getting to know yourself again. It's like reconnecting with a long-lost friend. It might be awkward and unfamiliar, but soon you'll be chatting with each other like no time has passed. Doing this might help you make some important realizations about yourself and excavate some feelings and fears you've perhaps hidden deep within. You need to rediscover what motivates you and what you truly want from life. That way, you can live a life you're happy with. The thing about life is that everyone makes mistakes. Thankfully, we can always start over whenever we want to, as long as we want to. But the hardest part is identifying and accepting where you are now and choosing to move forward. If you're in denial that you have a problem, you won't take the steps to solve it. Then, you will forever be stuck. When you can find the courage to admit the difficult truths about your current life circumstances, then can you move away from it. We've all been in situations we're not proud of, such as being addicted to something or stuck in a toxic job or relationship. The important thing is to want to move forward. After disobeying God, Adam and Eve felt so ashamed that they went into hiding behind a bush. God, knowing exactly where they were physically, asked them where they were spiritually. This is also the question we have to ask ourselves. Where are you right now? This is a challenging task. It requires lots of patience and determination to change your life, to move away from your old self and into the person you want to be. It is not easy. Many people do not even know where they are in their lives right now. In order to get to your goals, you need to pose this question to yourself. You could have this conversation with a friend you trust to make it easier. Just remember to be honest with yourself about how you feel. It is perfectly fine to admit you are not where you want to be. Identify the level in life you want to be at and make a list of what that is. Be specific. Do not give room for any vagueness or your dreams may remain that way. No matter where you want to be at, identify it. Do not hold back or pretend. After identifying what you want and where you would like to be, note to yourself the level of vagueness attached to your goals. For instance, if you want to be more generous, you would have to specify what type of generosity you would be capable of maintaining. If you would like to become more generous by giving to the less privileged, then say that. Your goals may be hard but are not impossible. It is important to set goals for yourself regarding how you reach that place. Step by step, you shall be on your way. All dreams are worth something. Unfortunately, not all of them can be worked on or achieved. That said, it's good to have a huge list of goals, with nothing being too big or small. From there, it's up to you to choose what you want to focus on first. One of the biggest questions you should ask when going through your list is whether it's feasible. If you want to live on Mars, that's not really possible right now. You should also think about what will give you joy or what will help others. This is because those can give you the maximum satisfaction and help keep you motivated on this journey. Life is continually changing, which can make it hard to keep your goals in mind. Whether you're looking at the future or reminiscing about the past, you will never be able to achieve your goals. Make sure to take the time to figure out who you are. Life is a constant journey to find oneself, and there are many times when we become lost in the journey. Perhaps you're in a job that doesn't take advantage of your talent or in a relationship that takes away from your happiness. If you've found yourself lost in life, try taking time to get to know yourself again. Getting to know yourself is something to take seriously and it is also not an easy task. You may not like what you would find about yourself at the end. You may need to make some difficult decisions afterward. Taking time to know yourself is really important. Now that you have your goals set out, you need to go through them and sort them out. You can sort them out in terms of their importance to you or their feasibility. Once you choose the goal to focus on, ask yourself whether they would have the same importance to you a long time from now. Would getting a Lamborghini to have the same value to you 10 years from now? Once you have started to identify the importance of your goals to your short term and long term, you should also think to yourself what impact your goal would have on the people around you. If it does not have any positive impact, this is also okay, but we feel more fulfilled helping those around us. Now you should have a clearer picture of what you want to achieve and how you would go about achieving that goal. Now that you have a sorted list of your goals, the next thing to do is actually to work on them. It does not help anyone when you keep dreaming about your goals without actually acting on them. Taking the first steps might be difficult, but being persistent and bold would help you a lot. Boldness would help you a lot. Approach people that have already achieved your goal and ask for advice. You may not get a response, but the worst thing is not even trying at all cause if you do not try, you would never know. If you do end up getting a response, be prepared, get straight to the point, and not beat about the bush. People have different schedules. If they clear theirs to talk to you, make sure you make the best use of your time. If there's a goal that you want to achieve in life, be honest about it. Don't let the fear of failing make you scared of even saying that you have this dream. Once you have this done, you need to go one step further and be more specific with that goal. Most people have dreams that are too big and too bold not because they are impossible, but because they aren't clear or have specific targets that can be hit. When you're specific and say I want to read X books this month, it can give you something substantial to work toward versus I want to be a better person. You need to know the steps to get where you want to go. Part of the reason why you may not be on the road to where you want to be is because of fear. You may be scared that you're not good enough, talented enough, hardworking enough. All these are natural and faced by everyone else all over the world. 
You should not be ashamed of these fears but take them for what they are. Often, these fears stem from beliefs we have about ourselves, prompted by experiences or people in our past. To move past these limitations, we must first understand what caused them in the first place. Through the act of identifying these sources, we can face our fears much easier. Everyone has heard the little voice telling them that they're not good enough, not smart enough, and not pretty enough. It's a voice we've all heard at some point in our lives, and we can shut it down by simply asking ourselves, if I love myself, why would I sabotage myself? That brief moment of self-reflection can lead to a lifetime of helping ourselves achieve our dreams. It is not always easy to shut this voice down. The first step is to identify where these limiting beliefs are coming from. It could be from an experience or social anxiety. The next step, although harder, is to evaluate yourself and properly pinpoint where the belief is coming from. Take some time to understand what makes you fear. It could be from advice from a friend, a passed down family tradition, it could be anything, but it is up to you to find out where it is coming from. Having a dream is only the start of your journey. You need to pursue it before you can get anywhere. This means that you have to get to work. When you have the opportunity to put your plans into action and turn your dreams into reality, don't let them go. Be bold and daring in the pursuit of your goals and don't give up. Tenacity and persistence will get you where you want to go, sooner or later. Don't waste your time or anyone else's.